Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday and today's the day. Sun is shining, tank's clean, Ollie is getting his pad rackets. For those of you who don't know, Ollie uh, is becoming a distributor for a paddle brand, uh, which is very exciting. And they're all gonna arrive today and they're all got to fit in our flat. I mean, our flat is small. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. This morning we're off out for a little walk. Um, we might grab a coffee and yeah, then we'll just sit and wait for this delivery. Oh golly, I don't know where it's all gonna go. These are all gonna fit in this cupboard here. Hmm. All of those in this cupboard. We'll see. We now have all 23 boxes. We're now gonna just make sure we've got everything, talk you through our products, sell some to our viewers, get it out of Sophie's living room. What do we think we got in there? Rackets! Hooray! Should I unwrap one? Yep. Okay, so this one is the Silhouette Casual Series. She looks like, ooh, she think. Part of our initiative to get more um, women play paddle with affordable advanced, uh, beginner rackets. Yay. Very shiny. It's quite heavy. It's quite big. Yeah, beginner rackets you want them to be quite big. You're going to get cool. Shiny. You get a nice little bag to go with it. Here we go. You can zip it up a bit for your balls or towels or drinks or snacks. Oh, this one's so excited about this. Oh, red bags. Red bags this time. So this racket. Slightly lighter, slightly smaller. It's a Pala MM2. I think that's small. It's lighter. Here she is. Higher end model, that's why it's lighter. Mm. It's got a grip texture to it. That extra spin. This one is Equation. This one must be precious cargo because it's jammed shut with a Steel. <laughs> steel, Giant big steel. steel. The way you're using this is quite scary. We've got a Pala Equation Advanced Series, 365 grams. This is also quite grippy. Yay, sparkly. Step up in quality from the silhouette, but a step down from the MS. <laughs> 10 Pro cup. Again, same weight as the other one, 365 grams. This is interesting, it's a new racket designed. Sparkly. There's this little detailing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is upper end racket, not quite top top, but just, just below it, the Smart. top end of that. Yeah, replaceable strap so that when you get sweaty like like Holly, uh, so you can sweaty. take it off and swap it with another one that's dry for let it dry properly. Oh pink. This one's pink. Can you tell me about this one, Oliver? So this is again a sort of entry level racket, um, lighter racket, Sophie's very intelligently assessed. Uh, again, primarily for uh, women paddle players, but all paddle rackets are unisex. It just depends if you like lighter or heavier, or pink or not pink. Blind your opponent. Exactly. With your style. Mm. First proper racket case. A bit heavier, this one. 370 grams. Ew. Ooh, look at that one. That's snazzy. It doesn't feel heavier. It feels lighter. That's magic. It is. 
two different colours. It is two different colours. What can you tell me about that one? Uh, that is one of their best sellers, potentially because of the blue. It was almost out of stock, but I got some got some in just, just for all those special people that are going to buy that racket. What part of the range is this one? So this is in the top range. It would be played with by professional players mm. or very skilled players because Knox mm. lends itself to all levels and the top professionals use the same rackets that you do. Uh, ML10 Pro Cup Silver. Looks like these. Oh, it's another pink one. Same much. We've had this. No, this one's slightly different. Oh, this one's slightly different. This is a fancy version. I see. That's used by Miguel Lamberti. Yeah, signed. How many different types have we got? Oh, well, we don't have many of all of them. This is a ML10 Pro Cup Quart. So similar to that last one that we just highlighted, but this one just a slight model down. Yeah, you can tell because some of them don't have packaging, and some of them do. Well, that might be the model, but I can't remember. Well, that has another that has another grip thing. Grip thing too. Do they all have that. So the fancier ones do. This one, three hundred and sixty-six gram. 1810 Genius, 18K. We've just had it. Have it comes with a bag, so obviously it's more fancy, like Ollie said. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so that's that's Augustine Tapia's main rack. That's so this one is best. really textured. The camera won't pick it up, but it's very, very grippy. So that could be the one that I use. This feels a little bit like sandpaper. And what does that retail top, top at? If you were in Europe, that would retail at about 325 euros. In Inside Australia, it may set you back $350. Oh, cool, steel! So you're getting a steal on that. Worth a trip to Australia for that. Exactly. 365 grammar. This is the ML10 Shotgun 18K. You're so fancy because you get your bag. This is a dark red shiny one. No texture on this one. A little bit of texture. Biggest hitting records. You also Smash. get a fancy little grip on the gripper. Oh yeah. Which the top brackets all come with. Then we have another, another, another box. Genius Attack 18k, six, 365 grams in a fancy case. That one's the same. Oh no, this one's like the same design as the grippy one. It's a bit of a different shape actually. Yeah, it's more closely linked to the shotgun. It feels a bit weightier. And this is the the textured. Um, it would class it as a diamond shape in well, paddle terms. This one is an X1 Casual Series. Yeah, another beginner entry level racket. Quite nice, relatively light, um, rounded. Okay. The beginner rackets start at what, what, are we, what are you charging heaps? So you have, if you want to buy on the website, it will be just over $100 plus shipping. If you want to buy in person, then it will be around the hundred dollar mark. This one is the ML10 Bach. Yeah. Yeah. Luxury Series. Oh, this is a nice colour. It is. Tell me about this one. Uh, this is an all rounder racket. Sort of good power, good control, and stylish racket. One of the best. Available for the all round package of other rackets, so. It's 365 grams, I didn't say. And a genius attack. Yeah. Okay, and now we're on to for some fancy straps. These ones, and uh, there's one Spanish one, is that yours? Uh, yeah, I just got it. But... And then we've got some tops. Current, oh, they're shorts. Those are shorts. Because I'm a rep in the brand, so I must wear the brand at all times. Oh, they're all for you. Oh, but us. They're all large. 
Because Ollie needs more sports gear, apparently. I've got to wreck the brand. Be the brand. Do you want to be? Sorry, Ollie's done the phone last. Yeah, I've been. Quite. Fancy. Sophie's finally get her own paddle shoes. Because she refuses to buy tennis shoes because they're not stylish enough. A blue jumper thing. Hello. A big bag for me to sell the merchandise out of. <laughs> it looks like a very big kind of rainy jacket. And then Ollie's trims. Is that the same as your other ones? Green, obviously. This last box has looks very exciting. Limited edition. Yeah, so this should be the on. only one in Australia. Wow, what is it? A racket? Racket, and you get lots of yes yeah, signs thing and bits. Yeah, and bits. Box. So that's like a grand prize. Or you pay top 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 dollar for that. Top dollar. Sophie's bag. New rucksack for Sophie. But when Sophie is trying to sell paddle rackets. And that's it. Um we might be missing a couple of rackets. Yeah, we might be missing some stuff. Um, this is the state of our living room at the moment. Hello, party people. So, Holly was wrong. We did not have enough storage space in the cupboard for 200 odd rackets, even though two were missing. But so, what did you say? Holly was. Holly was almost right. Uh, two and a half hours later, more than, mm -hmm. and it's uh, all gone away in some places. These are all the ones that are samplers, uh, and then what, these are all your brands. Yeah, so we've got an olive shirt. Yeah. We've got a grey shirt. Yeah. And then a bright blue shirt. blue shirt. Yeah. And then we've got some black and orange yeah. shorts, some white and orange shorts, and some more, what colour would you say that was? Sand. Sand colour shorts. Um, the shirts definitely feel very high quality. The shorts feel nice, but not as high quality as the shirts, but I may also have chosen cheaper shorts for myself. And that's the jumper. And then we've got a nice beautiful blue that Sophie can borrow. And then a windbreaker ring. It's quite nice. It's all nice. It's a good quality brand. Mm. So what, what outfit combos? So the kid's really excited about using his yeah. new rackets and his Gosh. kit. Look at him. I'm not wearing my Knox trainers today, but I will maybe later. Why not wearing them today? What? Yeah. Um, I might wear them for the second game because these will get all sweaty in the first game. And mm. in the second game, I can have dry shoes. Have you chosen your outfit for the second game? Uh, not yet. That will come later. Hi. Join me while I'm making dinner. Um, I realised that I haven't checked in with you guys since Monday or Tuesday morning when. Um, Ollie got his very lovely delivery. He's like a little kid, it was so sweet. Like a little kid trying out his Christmas presents. He's played with a couple, I think, and he'll be home soon and then I'll find out how this other racket went. I just thought I would check in with you. Um, today, I have not done that much. Um, saw a friend for coffee, which was very lovely. Um, but yesterday I had my first trial shift at the bakery, which was good. It was 6.15 start, so up at 5.30, oh my goodness. So I did 6.15 till 9.15, I was rated on for, rostered on for. Um, but I ended up staying till like 1 o'clock, because someone phoned in sick and they were like, you're doing a good job, just stay. And I was like, okay. So yeah, really nice team. Um, I was just on like the front of house bit where I was doing selling all the, all the pastries. Those people come in and then are like, what do you recommend? And I'm like, well, it's my first day, but these ones are selling really well. <laughs> um, I made a couple of mistakes. Uh, so they sell these, this bread, these breads, so tasty, but they're literally like the size of, bigger than the size of a newborn. Like they are ginormous. Um, and we serve, we sell them in half loaves as well. Dropped a half loaf on the floor. They're in the window and you have to pick them up with tongs, but the tongs are like this big and the bread's like this big and they're so heavy that I was just... to work my muscles a bit more. But it was fine, like the boss was like, it's okay. And I was like, it's quite a lot of bread. So I'm, I've got a couple of shifts next week as well. Um, just to kind of like being trained up. It's just a lot of information, straightforward. It's just a lot 
of information to take in. So today, yeah, just making fajitas. I've been so what I was just about to do it again. I've been so clumsy today, like this afternoon, honestly. Um I was doing some exfoliating with my pretty expensive exfoliator. Dropped it on the floor. It went everywhere. Um, me in the bathroom, we don't have that good a luck. I down need to buy another exfoliator. Which is really frustrating. And then just now I'm making dinner, putting in the seasoning all over me. So don't know what's wrong with me really. This is the this is your dinner. Good food. I haven't had fajitas in flipping ages, so I'm excited. And I'm speaking to a couple of my friends tonight, which is really lovely. Um, we'll have a nice catch up. We haven't had a haven't had a catch up in. I want to say before I move proper catch up since like since before I moved here. That's ridiculous if it is. They've both got kids now, so their lives are a little bit more hectic than mine. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd check in, keep you updated whilst I'm cooking because I apparently don't like to be alone. Hello. So we're at the rugby. We're seeing uh, New South Wales Waratahs versus the Queensland Reds women's rugby. And then uh, New South Wales Waratahs versus the Crusaders from New Zealand. As, as you can see, it's... Um, even at the moment. Five minutes in. So, yeah. as well because there's another ice cream shop that I want to try that we haven't been to before. I'm kind of look a bit like I'm in pyjamas today. These are my trousers. They're not pyjamas. We just come out of Dan Murphy's. We've got lots of tasters. Mm -hmm. got, they had lots a of... Bit bust. They had loads of tasters as you walked in. You could get basically anything and everything. Gin, Wine, beer, ginger beer. Ginger beer. And then we were trying to work out about the tequila that we wanted. And then he was like, oh, we've got some open in the back. Do you want to try? So we're like, sure. And then we didn't even go over to him. No, he pulled us over. He pulled us over because he wanted to sell his gin. to see if we would try a small gin and tonic. Apparently the oldest distiller in either Sydney or Maryville. Archie Rose is apparently the next oldest. That is a little bit bigger than... It's a month, month younger. Yeah, the Archie Rose is in the UK, whereas... His uh, isn't. Poor Tom's. It's very nice. <laughs> poor Tom. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of tastes and we've got the goods. we got some tequila, we got some rum for our darker stormies and we also got some triple sec 
for margaritas, but not with this one because this one is nice to keep. This one's sipping to keep. Fancy to keep. Now we're going to go get ice cream. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday and the sun is shining, the tank is clean. I am off for brunch this morning with Ollie um, and another couple of people who he's met through Paddle. Um, they've only just moved to the area and so we were like, let's go for brunch with them because that's what we would have wanted when we arrived um, to meet people and they seem really keen on like meeting people. So that's what we're doing. He's out playing at the moment and I'm gonna go meet them. Um, so it's him, like a guy and his girlfriend. I think they're from somewhere, Argentina? Yeah, that's kind of our day and then um, I might be working tomorrow, I might not be. My boss messaged me on Friday saying can you work and I was like yeah just let me know when and then I haven't heard anything since. So we'll wait and see. I'll message him today and just be like do you want me? I don't know. Um, but otherwise that's today, that's um, kind of our week rounded off. So um, I'll end this vlog here, I'll edit today. So thank you so much for watching. Um, well done if you got this far. Again, we haven't really done a huge amount, um, but that's life. Day in the week of the life of Ollie and Sophie. But we will check in with you guys next week for another weekly vlog. And do keep in touch. We love like getting your messages and your comments and um, chatting to you guys. So please do keep in touch. Sorry if I haven't been in touch with all of you English people for a long time. So all of our love and speak to you soon.